Hey everybody, it's me again, Lapuzan, and today we are doing a reaction video for Yu Yu Hakusho live action episode one. What do I know about this? I know about the anime. Can't comment on the manga. I never read the manga. I've watched the anime multiple times from beginning to end, so I do know about that. What I know about the live action, I know they skipped some arcs, or maybe they shortened it. Because I looked at the episodes, it looks like either breeze through like some story arcs or they just skip them all together. But yeah, I, I, I don't know how the pacing is going to be in this one. Um, I'm hoping it's good, but I guess we'll find out here, <laughs> right? So let's go ahead and get into it here. Episode one, I don't see a title for this episode yet, uh, the episodes yet. So let's go ahead and do it here and start. Okay, I have a feeling I know who died here. That's Yusuke? This is green uniform. <laughs> yep, that's him. Did he die the same way? Yep. <laughs> He's dead. Well, mm, in between. This guy's gonna beat him up, huh? Oh, that's messed up. Ugh. That's Yusuke. That has to be Yusuke. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, that's Kuwabara. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the tough Kurabara. What's he gonna do? Take a shortcut? Oh, the song! <laughs> I love this theme song. Oh! What happened? Is it like some demon or something? I wonder if that sinkhole is like an entrance to like the demon realm or something. Okay, so they're gonna do it this way, huh? Uh oh. Ooh, damn. Whoa, that's freaking gruesome. Holy crap. 
Holy crap. <laughs> Photon. So far, I like the casting of everybody that I've seen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing him. How he looks like here. <laughs> Oh, that looks freaking cool. Holy crap, that looks cool. <laughs> he has a past fire in his mouth. <laughs> oh, that's that bug, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I think they're gonna show him. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna show him in his other form. If you know, you know.
<clears throat> oh man, I wonder where he's going to wake up from. Damn, that's messed up. Oh, who's that? Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Wonder if that happens if he's too far gone or what? Oh no, the lighter. Idiot, move out of the way. Oh my god. Holy crap. Jeez. Oh, he's still alive. happens when he wakes up She feel a warmth. She feel that he's alive. Yeah. I think this happened the same way. I forget. Oh. What is he going to do? Oh, you put him back in there? Is he like fully healed? <laughs>
Oh yeah, that's gonna be a big surprise. Damn. Mm. So they can still save him, right? Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. Is he going to use it to his advantage? Dang, with all those injuries, he's gonna come back fine? If he can at all now? the play, Yusuke. Ah, he's playing at his good side. Oh, he's still there. <laughs> Ooh, that was juicy. Law. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Who's this? Ah. <laughs> 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 
Is he gonna be short too? Oh. oh, that's right. During this time, they're teamed up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, they had a third guy. And they already got all three of them. Alright, that was episode one of Yu Yu Hakusho live action. Overall, I enjoy that episode actually. I know a lot of people were gonna say that it's gonna be rushed and it's seeing the episodes and what they're titled and it does look like it's gonna be rushed, but based off this first episode, I'm really satisfied with it. So I'm kind of wondering what the actually we've already seen at the end of the episode, what the next episode is gonna be like. But yeah, let's 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 talk about this episode first before we go on to that. So I guess we begin with like a sinkhole in the city and it, it, apparently that sinkhole leads to the demon world world and there's that character in the suit and his name escapes me but i know what his goal is i won't spoil it for anybody but there are a couple characters that are going to appear with him if this is going where i think it's going and it does look like it's going to get there quicker than it is in the anime <laughs> overall the casting was great i liked everybody that was casted into their character they played them very well no complaints about any of the characters honestly they they all played them well they all look good. Let's start with Yusuke, the main character. He's exactly like he is in the anime. Like a misunderstood youth uh, that comes off as delinquent, but he's really good at heart. Obviously, like he saves the boy that cost him his life. Saved Kirino, the guy that got possessed by the demon. And obviously, like a lot of people, like nobody outwardly showed it, but like people loved him. His mother, Keiko, even Kurobara couldn't accept his death, which is just like the anime, honestly. <laughs> I like what they did with uh, Yusuke. Uh, for Kuwabara, yeah, he feels the same too. Like, constantly challenging Yusuke in the beginning. I assume that he hates bullies too, cares for his friends. Yeah, it feels like Kuwabara. Hard-headed, tough. That's Kuwabara to T. Keiko feels like Keiko too. Doesn't fear Yusuke. Like, by pretty much almost everyone she knows how good yusuke is like good at heart how yusuke is i'm assuming they're gonna make her smart too like she is in the anime but yeah that's definitely keiko i, I really like botan's character i like they what they did with the costume the actress that they they casted for that perfect the way she played botan too it was just perfect i i i, I want to say perfect for botox koenma looked good too but the one thing that I, I was disappointed about was that we didn't get to see his other form if you know what i mean then you know what i mean uh, otherwise go read the manga or watch the anime and he did a good job of keeping the pacifier in his mouth while he was talking that <laughs> that was funny one thing from the spirit world that we didn't see was ogre i don't know if they're gonna do or introduce ogre i already know his name too but i won't spoil that for you just in case somebody wants to watch that in the anime or read that in the manga <laughs> I want to say he was not necessarily a big part of the anime, but at the same time, he was kind of <laughs> a big part of it, if you know what I mean. In the terms of storytelling, there was the roundworm monster. I guess they possess humans, and if they're in them too, I guess they like focus on like their negative energy or whatever, and eventually they turn them into yokais. Yeah, so that was the main threat for this episode. And Yusuke's death, holy crap, was that gruesome. In the anime, they just showed like, I don't even think they showed, like, the impact. I think they just showed the moment of impact, and that's about it. But this one, holy crap, they showed the moment of impact and him getting ran over, too. Holy crap, that was gruesome. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. Oh, also, uh, when they pulled Yusuke's body from the burning house, I think that's the same as the anime. It's been, it's been a long time since I've seen that arc in the anime, because usually I go around, like, watching certain arcs, 
I think the one of the that beginning arc is like usually the one, one of the ones that I least watch. I, I should watch it more honestly. But yeah, I think it's the same as the anime where they pull his dead body from the burning house that came back to life. Oh, and then another thing, the theme song that came on in the truck in the ramen shop. It's the theme song for the anime. It's the theme song for the end, the opening theme song that they never changed. I know they changed like the ending themes, but I don't think they ever changed the opening theme song. So that would that was a nice touch right there. If you haven't heard it, definitely listen to the whole thing. It's it's great. Both the ja- uh, the Japanese version and the uh, the the English version of it. Let's talk about the effects. So the spirit world looked freaking awesome. I like the color of it where it's like purple and orange, like the orange from the lanterns and then the, like the I want to say like sunlight in the background or something and everything else was like purple, like the water was purple, like basically the shadows that were casting were purple and all that. It it looked pretty awesome. The spirit energy effects that came off of Yusuke looked pretty awesome too, especially when he when he did the punch with the spirit energy it, it looked pretty good so i'm looking forward to when he's able to concentrate his energy <laughs> and use it in a certain way again i won't spoil that in the next arc i don't know if they skipped any arcs in between i forget it's it's been a long time i don't think they did or maybe they did i'm not sure but they're going straight to like that three item with the uh, Kie and Karama and the other guy. Speaking of those two, he does look pretty fierce. I, I like how they casted him here. As well as Karama, he does look like a pretty boy as well. So they did pretty well for the casting. Overall, the casting was solid. Writing was done for the characters as well. It was pretty solid too. It it felt like Yu Yu Hak like you're you're you you were looking at the characters from Yu Yu Hakusho pretty much. So I, I overall I was happy with the very first episode. And honestly, I came into it thinking like oh man is this gonna be a bad adaptation but no this first episode was pretty solid but like i said before based off like the episodes that they're showing yes it does look like it's gonna be rushed through and yes it looks like they're gonna they're going to skip some arcs here and there but uh i'm just hoping that the quality of the remaining episodes will be the same quality as this because this was this was perfect for like an opening for you you haka show in honest in all honesty I never read the manga, so I only know my information based off the anime. I say this was perfect. Honestly, perfect live action Yu Yu Hakusho first episode. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. And yeah, if anybody's there watching, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, appreciate a subscribe as well. And if you have anything to add or something to say or a comment, please comment down below. I would appreciate that too. I usually get back as soon as I can. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Zano. Bye.